Here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you what I painted, why I painted it, and why, well, it's bad news. As a lot of you know, I've worked in the oil field for many, many, many years. And unfortunately, things are slow right now. And when that happens, I usually sit home, try to go get a job or whatever. But it's just how the work is, just how it is when you work in the oil field. And so to continue to make money and to take care of my family, I, as you saw, painted this. I did a mediocre job of painting this, but it turned out actually quite amazing but it's because of tools I used obviously but I wanted to start my own business once again I've had a couple of other businesses and I'm gonna start a mobile mechanic that's right I want to be running a mobile mechanic truck and that offers me incredible flexibility and when I say incredible flexibility that means I can go out work wherever and I will be able to to be able to go back to work if I need to if I get called back just turn my ads off and go back to work. And that's why I think this is better for me than having a brick and mortar shop, which y'all see in my shop. I won't have to have customers there. And, and I can give you a little more insight of why I think that's better. One of the best parts is you're not confined to a shop or have the overhead having to pay for water and, and trash and electricity and all that stuff where get stuck there your office is wherever your next job is you have the freedom to work wherever and whenever because you don't have that monthly bill and like I said earlier you can I, I can shut it down at any time to go back to a job or if I need to take off I can do that and not have that overhead plus I get to work in different neighborhoods go different places and expand my reach that a brick and mortar shop just does not allow you to do where you're tied down to that. So you never know what the future holds and this is really gonna help that. It's, it's gonna be really nice to try to start this business without that and I'll be able to offer less per hour, be more convenient than somebody who had a fixed location. Plus, I get to build different relationships with customers because I'm there to help them and I had a customer that I picked up the other day and I towed his car to his house on my flatbed trailer. He sat here in my truck. We had a great conversation and it was really interesting. And you get to foster trust that way and get to build loyalty that you can't with just a regular brick and mortar business. So how are you going to get started? First, let's go over some necessary things you need. And as you see, one of the things you're going to need is a good, reliable vehicle if you're going to be a mechanic. And I had this truck and as you saw in the last video we painted this box so I have a place to put my tools. You can use a van or whatever you use make sure you use something as reliable as possible and like I said I went with lockable boxes and let me show you what we have in the boxes to start with. To start with you want the normal hand tools you have. I have them organized here so then that way when you pull up to a place, it looks as professional as possible because that's important. It's gonna be important to customers and hopefully it's important to you, all my in wrenches, screwdrivers, everything to look as important as possible. Up next, electrical stuff. So the things that you really wanna invest in, you're gonna need like a, a tool to be able to send power and test power, they call them power probes. You definitely want to get a decent multimeter. I have a battery tester so that's gonna really help you out. You can pick this one up at Harbor Freight, it works good. Bowls, you are gonna be working on customers' cars, so you definitely want something to put the nuts and bolts that you're working on in. And as much electrical stuff as you can come up with. We got electrical tape, because a lot of times on the side of the road, something like that is gonna happen. So you wanna be able to test that stuff. And speaking of testing, let's move on to what's next. That's gonna be a good scanner. You can buy the cheap scanners, and a lot of times you can get away with those, but let's look, I mean, you pull up with this, customers know that you're serious, and that you are gonna be able to take care of their stuff. Plus, this is a bi-directional scanner. That's what you're looking for, is a bi-directional scanner. That way you can basically get into the computer, you can function test certain things, especially in the late model vehicles. It really helps out. Alltel makes this, this is a DS-808. I have had this for a long, long time. 
there are much newer ones and better ones but with Altel, with Altel, you when you buy a new one of these, you get like a five-year subscription. Your subscription is like a hundred dollars a month or something. I mean, a hundred dollars a year, sorry, something like that. But you get that for five years when you buy a new one. So definitely look into one of these. And if you plan on working on older vehicles, they offer a kit to plug into some of the older vehicles, the pre uh, OSB, uh, OBD. Can't even talk OSB. The, the pre OBD, OBD plug. So uh, most of you will not need that. I, I work on a lot of vintage cars and, and older stuff. So I do use that, but I'm gonna say 99% of you don't waste your money on that, but do get a good scanner. And that brings us to another big investment. I have a lot of specialized tools with coolant testers, um, just all the different testers. This is a the coolant system um, pressure tester. Here's a back for that. I've got the block tester. I've got brake. I got a lot of the stuff that I've acquired over the years. What's nice is you set up an account, especially with like O'Reilly's ABC. A lot of them have loaner tools. You'll throw some money up at them. They'll let you use the tools. You bring it back so you can do that. So that's what I would recommend until you figure out exactly what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I would recommend doing some of the borrowing of tools but once you use it a couple times buy the tool have the tool yourself so that way you're not spending time leaving there going to pick it up and coming back so that gives you the ability to fix something right there at the moment that you show up it really makes a difference some things you another things you'll need these big vacuums right here are really nice you can pump them up create vacuum sucking fluids out of an engine. You can do oil changes with these things. They're really nice to have. Uh, definitely want to get a good set of jack stands. I just have two in here. I would recommend having a few more. I've got more in the shop that I put in here. And these wheel chocks. If you're working on something, have a couple of wheel chocks. It definitely helps out. I've got a drain pan with my funnels and stuff in it. So you're gonna, you know you're gonna be messing with fluids as a mechanic and you don't want to drip those in some random parking lot and get in trouble there. You want good, carb cleaner, battery cleaner, those kind of things, special nuts. Once again, safety oriented. Just go down to a truck stop somewhere or where you can order it on Amazon, get a set of roadside triangles. If you are on the side of the road, that is very important. That's something I definitely want to put out and these vests. You may not like the way they look. I have a personal guy that I've knew for years, but happened years ago. He helped a lady on the side of the road. He just pulled over to help her with his flat tire, got hit by a car, and that was way before everybody was texting and driving. So be very cautious, be very safe, get good safety equipment. If you're gonna be on the side of the road, you want that stuff, and then do whatever you can to get the car and you off the side of the road as safely as possible. And then your random stuff you have there. I still have more room to be able to put more stuff in here, which is nice, and, and it's important to be able to have the room for everything that you need in your truck and last but definitely not least is looking professional like you want your advertisement you can do that stuff online you want to put a professional the a google ad page you definitely want to do that get on facebook get do those build your professional ad page but when you show up you don't want to show up looking like somebody who you know doesn't know what they're doing you want that commanding presence that you can give by the knowledge you have plus the ability to roll into somewhere and the customer who is most of the time on the side of the road worried about what's going on how are they going to get through their day you want to be able to show them that somebody is there able to take care of whatever the problem they have is and get them on the road reliably and safely so I invested some money. I've got work shirts. I've got the patch for my business stuff on there. I keep your vehicle as clean as possible. I believe that's gonna make a big difference to build the reputation over the time that you do this business. If you would like to watch me, hopefully not fail at a business and plus do all the cool builds and stuff continually while I'm doing this, please subscribe join me on this journey. Let's see how this goes. Let's see where this goes. And I really appreciate people who are watching.